Thrive Fusion is a researcher of nuclear fusion technology, specifically reactors and technologies that can be applied from the development of reactors. There hasn't been a lot of funding for fusion because it wasn't weaponizable, but now I think people are starting to realize just how significant the fusion milestone will be. Fusion is about emulating what happens in a star. One way of doing it is a tokamak device. It's a donut-shaped vessel, a vacuum vessel, where we use very powerful electromagnetic coils to crush and confine a plasma. Plasma are very, very hot particles. By heating them up to very high temperatures, you give them a chance to overcome their electrostatic propulsion to each other. And if they can come close enough, they can fuse, releasing a neutron. A neutron is not charged particles, fly out of our, escape our electromagnetic fields, and collide with the walls of the reactor. And we can take the kinetic energy from the neutron, that is heat, which we can use to drive a conventional steam turbine. two ways you can power cities, and that is coal and fission. But fusion has the ability to take us out of ever having a shortage of energy again. If you can harness fusion power for electricity, then you can also harness it for rocket thrusters. We're building reactors on the scale that we believe are the right size, much more cost effective to build, smaller and lighter, the advantages are you could send that rocket a lot further, a lot faster. Fusion thrusters have got the capability of halving distances to Mars. These missions suddenly become possible if you start being able to turn fusion power into propulsion. It's a very significant milestone. Applied fusion was set up out of a relationship with a lot of nuclear physicists who know the science is there now. Why should something that's possible today wait for tomorrow? We are investing in fusion technology now and we're putting everything we've got into it.